We are at Canada Place. We're getting ready to go on a tour to Victoria. For anyone that wants to know, we're staying at the Marriott Residence Inn and literally it took us 15 minutes to get here. We walked, it's just a mile away. So, and it was a straight shot, literally just straight up the street. It's the same street, so you just go straight down. Oh, uh, and there is where everybody stays right here, Pan Pacific. Yeah. Oh. So that right there is the Pan Pacific. Oh, literally. Yeah, everybody stays there. Unless you want to save like a couple hundred dollars a night, which is what we did. And it really wasn't that bad. But as far as the temperature goes this morning, it's a nice little brisk uh, uh, 60 degrees. And it's September 3rd. So it's not too bad, but you can see the sun is just getting ready to, to peak over the, the mountains there. And it is, it's a really pretty nice day. So anyway, onward to Victoria. Okay, we just boarded the ferry to head over to Victoria. How we got to Victoria, we decided to hire a tour company uh, called Get Your Guide. I'm throwing a link up right now and also we'll put a link down below. Get Your Guide basically takes all the guesswork out for you. Uh, I highly recommend it. It was so smooth and easy. You hire them, you meet at Canada Place, you jump on a, a small van. There was maybe 10 or 12 people on there with us. So it was a really small group. And then when we arrived at the ferry, uh, we drove right onto the ferry itself. So the tour bus went right on into the ferry. And uh, then we got out and got to enjoy walking around the, the ferry. Uh, there's restaurants on board, they're shopping. Uh, it's a really large ferry. It took about 45 minutes and then we arrive in Victoria. All right, we're pulling out of Vancouver. This ferry is very large. The amount of semis, tour buses, cars, they're all down below on the decks below and then how many decks are there? Like two or three decks for guests to just go hang out, get food. Supposedly out that way, if it wasn't kind of a, a hazy day, we would actually see the state of Washington. So Washington is just right over there. Okay, we are standing in line for fish and chips. Sorry, there we go. Fish and chips. And it's the redfish bluefish. And it has a really good ratings and everybody says it's super good, so we'll let you know how it goes. The redfish bluefish is some of the best fish and chips we have ever eaten in our lives. It was so good. So this is the Fairmont Express Hotel, which overlooks the harbor and lined with this amazing landscaping. Okay, here we are in front of the Legislative Assembly Building of British Columbia. And once again, we are right across the street from the harbor. Over cloud skies, but really not too bad. Indigenous Northwest Coast oral traditions. From the top are the loom, which is teacher and interpreter. Then 
The fisher is a traditional way of life. Bone player is a game played by people who do not share the same language. And the frog, which comes from an old mountain story. Together they represent lessons of the past, hope for the future. Erected to welcome visitors to the 1994 Commonwealth Games. So one of the really cool things uh, that we did in Victoria was go to a place called Rogers Chocolates. Uh, this is an amazing chocolate place. It's been around for a long, long time, and uh, it's only found in British Columbia. There's a place in, in Vancouver. They have a store in Victoria, but it is a really old uh, shop. It's really fun to go into, and the chocolates are amazing. In fact, they're so good that we bought some. We went back and uh, got some more just so we could stockpile it for the rest of the trip. All right, so we're heading into the chart gardens. Something else that I would prepare for is rain. Uh, just expect rain. Uh, we took precautions and, and were ready for the rain. So we had waterproof shoes and uh, ponchos. What was cool is uh, Butte Chart Gardens actually had a bunch of umbrellas. So as soon as you get off the bus, they meet you with umbrellas. So that was kind of cool that uh, they just have so much rain. They just are prepared that everybody gets an umbrella. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's beautiful. If you are contemplating going to Victoria, Canada, I would highly recommend it. We thoroughly enjoyed our time there. It was so much fun. It was easy to get to, uh, really beautiful, uh, just a gorgeous part of the world. And uh, Butchart Garden was beautiful, but the whole day, the food, the, the chocolates, the, the entire day was just really, really fun. So if this uh, is something that interests you, make sure that you uh, look into it because we we really highly recommend it. So two thumbs up on Victoria, Canada. And uh, thanks again for watching. If you did like this, please leave us a like and a subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video.